Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today's video, I have some books to recommend you guys that are very, very atmospheric and you can just get lost in. And I think we all need that right now to kind of forget about what's happening in the world. So yeah, I have seven books to recommend you guys today. And these are my personal faves, so yeah. The first book I have to recommend you guys is a graphic novel, and that is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This book is so good. This book is about a prince and a dressmaker, obviously. And so the prince hires this dressmaker. Well, initially she thinks she's just getting hired to the royal family. And then she finds out that she's working directly with the prince. And it turns out the prince has a secret and he likes wearing dresses. So the whole story is about him kind of like, you know, finding his own identity and just, you know. And I love this book so much. The graphics in here are so, so good. This is such a good book. And I read this on a road trip during January. And I read it so fast, mostly because it's a graphic novel. But it was so good and I was so sad when it ended because I, I wanted more. But it was so, so good. So I highly recommend this one. The next book I have been gushing over forever, but that is Lovely War by Julie Berry. This book, um, if you don't already know, because I've been talking about it so much, but it's such a good book and everyone needs to read it. This book takes place on two different timelines. One is during World War II where the Greek gods um, narrate the story. And it's about how Aphrodite gets caught cheating, so then her husband puts them on trial and she starts telling um, this love story that happened in World War One between these two couples and it's just so, so good. I flew like through the last half of the book so fast. It was so good, I totally lost myself in it. And that is why I am recommending this. And all around, this is just such a great story, such a heartbreaking story and it's so good. And I think everyone should read this because it's a 10 out of 10. The last physical book I have to recommend you guys is one I haven't read yet, but it seems like an easy book to get lost in, and that is War Cross by Marie Lu. This cover is just stunning. Anyway, this is about a hacker named Emily, and she is kind of like the bounty hunter, right? Yeah, tracking down War Cross players who bet on the game illegally. So she has to track down these players, and then she accidentally does something or other, then she gets transported into the game and becomes an overnight sensation and she kind of has to deal with that while also like a more sinister plot is happening and I thought this would be super 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 cool because you kind of get lost in this like virtual reality world. This book just seems so good and then it also has like different, it has a different media in here so like there's like text messages, I guess there's like battery lives so yes I think this book would be super super good. So this morning I had a calc class and it's the um, the college board because we're still having an AP test which is awful so I'm trying to like you know still learn some calc to do good so that's why some of my calc notes are in here but I still have the books. So the next book I have to recommend is The Gravity of Us. I've been talking about this for quite some time and I read this book during the quarantine and this is week two of the quarantine for me and so I read this book in one night. I started it at 9 o'clock and I stayed up till 2.30 in the morning and I read the whole book and it was so good. This book is about a girl named Lucy and she runs a, a flower shop and so she has two sisters, one Mari who just battled cancer and her other sister Lyric who they don't talk to. Lyric doesn't even consider them her sisters like she is, she's gone from the family. So when Lucy is out on a delivering, a delivery. She gets locked outside with this guy named, what's his name? Graham. And um, his wife comes looking for him and it turns out it's her sister Lucy, that's his wife. And so um, Lucy ends up being pregnant. I hope these aren't spoilers, but this is like kind of what the book is about. So Lucy becomes pregnant and then she has a baby way too soon. Um, and then she decides that she just can't take care of a baby right now, so she leaves Graham with the baby. And so he asks Lucy for help, and it's just this nice little really, really slow burn romance, and it's so sad. This book is so heartbreaking. I cried at least four times. Oh my god. This book is so good, and um, it's, it's just, it's just, I'm a lot of loss for words. It's just so good. 
Next, I have No Exit by Taylor Adams. This book is a mystery thriller, is it? Is that how you would categorize it? But uh, this book is so good and so, so creepy. It's not, it's not scary, it's just, it's really suspenseful. And, and I might be dumb, but this book had some really, really good plot twists. And it, it wasn't just like one plot twist. There was a plot twist constantly and it was just so good. So basically this book is about this girl driving and she lives in Colorado. And so she's driving, but then she gets stuck at this rest stop because there's this big snow blizzard. So she stays at this rest stop and while she's like roaming around outside for cell service, she sees this van and in the back of the van is this crate with a child in it. So she has to go back inside that rest stop and figure out who she can trust and who is the kidnapper. Um, this book was just insane. I think there was four other people at the rest stop. and. Throughout this whole book, you didn't know who to trust. You did not know who to trust, and it was so good. And I, I, it was crazy. You learn now who the kidnapper is fairly soon, but still, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't know. It just keeps taking twists. It just keeps taking twists, and I didn't expect any of them. Oh, yes. Um, I feel like I should suggest this, but I feel like everyone kind of knows this. Harry Potter's. They're really good, really easy to get lost in. So I just had to throw that out there, Harry Potter, yes. And the last book I have to talk about is The Deal by L. Kennedy. This book, Chef Kiss, is so, so good. This is a hockey romance about a girl named Hannah and she has sworn off all hockey players. She has had bad experiences, so she said no more hockey players. So now she has a crush on this guy named Justin and he is a football player and Hannah is such a good student, such a good student, and this is a college romance, I don't know if I said that or not, and so Garrett, this hockey, the captain of the hockey team, needs her help with the class, so then he makes her a deal saying, if you help me pass this class, then I'll help you get Justin's attention and make him jealous, so there's fake dating, and it's super cute, and it's super good, and there is trigger warnings in here, I think, for domestic abuse and for rape but they don't talk about the rape like explicitly like they do talk about it but like the scene i don't think is on page but the way they handled both of the situations i thought were super super good so if you want a really i don't want to say nice romance but like a good romance then i highly highly suggest you pick this one up i don't know if you can hear my dog downstairs he's doing something that is all the books I have to recommend for today. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and washing your hands. Please, 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 please stay home. And um, yes, I love you guys and I will see you next time.